back everybody, Bali J here with another recycling plant build using the manufacturing overhauled mod. This is a bit more of a complex setup, but it uses the recyclers in a much more efficient manner. It's the one I'll be using in my new playthrough. Start off, we have our vacuum hopper with all my junk that I've collected in Sanctuary at the beginning of the game. Have a sorter to sort out anything that I want to keep and not have broken down. Then I have 24 component sorters set up to pull out the different items based on what components they have. I had 24 because that's all you need to break down every item in the game. Starting with lead, bone, crystal, antiseptic, leather, ballistic fiber, asbestos, acid, silver, nuclear material, adhesive, and circuitry on this side. Run around to the other side. We have cloth, copper, oil, springs, glass, aluminum, ceramic, plastic, rubber, wood, steel, and concrete. Now I'll put concrete last because the bags of cement like to push everything else through that gets stuck or held up in the rest of the circuit. And I've also put these fences on the side to help keep anything from falling off or getting stuck. Each sorter will pull out items, send them to their recycler where they'll be broken down. And then I have a vacuum hopper butted up to the recycler to pull all of the components out deposit them on these two center belts that carry them to my final storage in my hopper. I'm going to turn everything on. Switch number one. And out come my junk. Now Although I have as many fail safes as I can, there are still things that just don't want to seem to work right. Some items will collect underneath your vacuum hopper at the beginning. I've even found items on the roof for them teleporting somehow. Now certain items have issues. Anything very big such as brooms, shovels, things of that nature, like to get stuck. So I like to come up here and just drop them in one at a time. To make sure everything I have gets broken down. See my I appear to be stuck. All right, I do it from down here this time. Pick it up over the top. The reason I have a comfy pillow on the top in my inventory instead of in my hopper, they're one of the items that will randomly teleport. Experiment with it enough and you'll find all the items for yourself. I'm not going to go over the entire list because there's quite a few of them. down here to get to my cloth. Where did I put cloth? First one. Now, 
I want to thank Jack Dahl for showing me his recycling plant design, which really was the inspiration for this. It was a well thought out design. I'm glad he shared it with me. Otherwise, this probably wouldn't be possible. As you can see, items are going through. my pre-sorter sorting out all my pre-war money might need that later on or just to sell whatever I decide and there you can see my sorters acting weird I still haven't exactly figured out what's why they do that, but that's why I have these fences in place. Sometimes things come out, they bunch up, and fall out all over the side of the belt. These fences should prevent that. got it running I'm going to let it do its thing I'll be back when it's finished to show you how to extract all of the components from the recyclers all right looks like everything's through running I'm gonna make a quick run through real sh just to make sure we got everything So obviously something's still going. Looks like one of my sorters was clogged up with a bunch of stuff. Now mod that really helped out was Crimson Riders Enhanced Power and Wiring. Made these switch boxes produce 10 power each. That's how I got my recyclers set up on their own power source to program them separately. Otherwise, you try to program one and everyone with the same type will produce the same junk item. Also, I've got my vacuum hoppers and my center line set up to another switch to make things easier. If you don't have them set up and have them constantly pulling, then they will pull things from the builders before they're broken down. So that's something to be aware of. It looks like my steel recycler is the last one going. No? steel and glass all right that should be everything so we'll go over here to my switches turn off the main belt Turn on my vacuum hoppers, and you'll see everything that they've broken down come out, follow these belts down, and end up in my vacuum hopper. Overall, this is a bit of a lengthy process, but I find it's easier to do it this way than to drop everything and have to scrap it one by one especially if I'm going to be using a lot of the builders and the manufacturing overhauled mod this makes it a lot easier to separate all of your components and have them easily accessible and 
really. That's about all I have to show you today. I do plan on releasing a video using showing some of the tips and techniques that I've used to build this and some of my other setups. And I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.